Hello friends. I hope you're good today. Um, I am getting really tired of staying here in my house and I miss seeing people and I miss going places. Uh, some of you might be going places now. I know that the governor said that we could start to go some places and some families are deciding to do that and other families are not. Our family is still going to stay in for a while until we're sure everything is safe. And that's what we're doing at church. We are still going to have our virtual church services so that everybody stays safe and we will gather together again as soon as it's safe for everyone to be there. Today I wanted to talk to you about something kind of funny. I wanted to introduce you to Cream. Now this is Cream. She is a very sweet cat. These are Cream's humans. She lives at Mr. Noah's house and you know Miss Taylor. Uh, you see them at church and so they both love Cream very much and they take care of her together. I wanted to show you a funny video of Cream. Can you see her? She is chasing something. What is that she's chasing? It's a laser pointer. She is chasing it all over the place. Do you think she's ever going to catch it? No, because it's a piece of light. It's just a beam of light. You can't catch a beam of light, but she sure keeps trying. She tries and she tries and she tries and she's never able to catch the beam of light. Cream chasing that beam of light reminds me of humans because we try to chase things all the time that we'll never catch. Now I'm not talking about trying to catch a squirrel or a rabbit or a bird because we won't catch them either. They're much faster than we are. But what I'm talking about is trying to catch things like we work really, really, really hard to try to be the prettiest. Just today, I was worried about my gray hair because I haven't been able to go to the beauty shop and I couldn't get it cut and it's so long. We worry about things like that. We try to, to dress up and look our best. So we try to chase being beautiful. Uh, we might try to chase being the best at a sport. You know, We might try to be the hardest hitter in baseball or the highest kicker in karate or the fastest runner in soccer. We want to be the best and we keep trying. We might try to be the smartest to show everybody how smart we are. And we chase these things and we try to get better and better and better. And we try to have all of the things that we think will make us special. And some people try to do it by having the most things like the most money or the most toys or the most video games or the most comic books and they work hard to chase having the most of something. Well, it's just like cream. We're not ever going to catch those things. And I want to tell you what the Bible says about that. I have my Bible here and right in the Bible in the book of John, 1 John, it says, don't love the world's ways. Don't love the world's goods. That might mean like don't love trying to be the prettiest or the smartest or the fastest and don't love all the things that you can buy with money. Love of the world squeezes out love for the Father. It means it makes no room for God. Practically everything that goes on in the world, wanting your own way, wanting everything for yourself, wanting to be important, has nothing to do with God. It just isolates you from him, which I thought was funny because that's what we're doing right now. We're isolating ourselves. But this says all those things isolate us from God. The world and all its wanting, wanting, wanting 
is on the way out. But whoever does what God wants is set for eternity. And then later on, or earlier actually, in Matthew, it says, don't hoard treasures down here. You know, like trying to get all the comic books or all the Pokemon cards or all the video games. Because here it might get eaten by moths or corroded with rust or even stolen by burglars. It says instead, put your important things in heaven where it's safe from moth and rust and burglars. So put your trust in God and think about that more than all those other things. And then at the very end it says, what kind of a deal is it to get everything you wanted but lose yourself? What could you ever trade your soul for? So the Bible tells us that there's a better thing to be chasing after. Instead of trying to chase after money or importance or uh, to be the best or be the prettiest or be the smartest, the Bible tells us to chase after things that are important to God. So that would mean things like chasing after being very, very kind or chasing after loving other people very much or chasing after treating people fairly. These are the things that make God happy and we're storing up those things. We can't really put them in a box in heaven, can we? We don't have a box in heaven that we can put them in, but we can store these kinds of treasures, the things that make God happy, and we can chase after them instead of chasing after things that aren't going to last, because the things that are gonna last are the things that make God happy. So let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you so much for the chance to be together, even if we can't be together in person, that we can do it this way. And I thank you for each and every person who's out there watching this video. We ask that you be with all of the doctors and the nurses and the scientists and everybody that's working so hard to figure out a way that we can be back together again. And Lord, help us to look for ways to chase after the important things, to chase after the things that make you happy to chase after kindness, to chase after loving, to chase after treating people fairly. God, help us not to be like cream and just chase after things that we won't ever be able to catch. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope to see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.